What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Jumaya's World. Today we're going to be talking about how to get power with expansion Taylor Maze to a 99 overall. Many of you guys like myself have been waiting for Taylor Maze for a very very long time but EA Sports has a habit of giving out the really good cards their final upgrades very very late in the year. Right now we're in a state of Madden usually where the content is very very far and few between so you know this expansion situation that they started I think like last year where you can get those additional boosts to the cards there is realistically no reason why they shouldn't do this earlier. Like we shouldn't be waiting for it until May, but still it gives you a little bit more excitement about wanting to try the cards out and wanting to see what it's about. I want to be very, very clear about Taylor Maze. It's not the fact that like, yo, guys like, yo, you got a man crush on Taylor Maze. If I do, it don't matter, dog. Like in the game, he's wild. Like I don't, if a card works for me, I'm going to go after that card and utilize that card throughout the year. I don't really care what anybody else's opinion about it is. He's a really, really good card all around. Now, you guys may say, yo, in real life, he wasn't this, he wasn't that. Doesn't matter. Like I said, I like to separate it based on what we're talking about. If you guys want real football, G Myers World Podcast is available on Android, iTunes, iHeartRadio, and right here on YouTube if you want to hear me talk about like real life sports. But G Myers World, G Myers World Gaming, it's video games. In this game, Taylor Maze is a really, really good card, and he will be an absolute upgrade for a lot of your safety positions out there because he's a run support safety, he gets mid zone for one, he gets all those good abilities that really work for the game for very, very cheap. All right, so what I'm looking at right now is the fact that it's 63,800 training to finish up powering him all the way up to a 99. So I want to point out a few things to kind of get you guys up and running, right? Because we have a lot of newcomers that are coming in like, yo, I don't even understand what this is. And then we got my veterans like, yo, Jemai, which way are we going? Are we using a power up pass? Like whatever. So there's a whole mixture. So look, they give you the options, right? You can get it done for free with that final upgrade with a 98 overall power up pass. My issue is this. The value of training right now is extremely cheap. Also, what we're looking at right now is the fact that we're going to have to change up the physical chem uh, that adds the additional speed. The power up expansion, which increases Taylor Maze overall to a 99, it only brings him to a 97 speed. So we're going to need that plus two. I don't really, like I said, because he's a niner, I don't necessarily need to give him anything. But because of the overall team, I need that sprinter and I need that brawler. I have to make sure that everything is good with it. It is very, very important that I make sure that that happens because if I fall under that, it affects the entire team. Now, just because one card can actually get to it with just a team, you know, the, the theme team chemistry, that doesn't mean that it's not a good idea to give it to them. But in this case, because we're using Niners Chem, you do not need to add uh, the additional sprinter. I'm just doing it because I need it to keep all of my overall team boosted. All right. so. With that being said, there are other players that need to get raid sold. Richard Sherman, I don't think he'll be back for any other reason. And if he does come back, it'll probably be, you know, maybe the um, developers make a golden ticket Richard Sherman. I don't really see any other way that I would bring this actual card back, though. Uh, for those of you guys that are asking, like, yo, g -Mai, what's going on with him? Right now, I was on the verge of raid selling Jalen Ramsey. Just a quick point of order. If you play around with me, you're probably not going to be in the locker room after the game. And Jalen Ramsey gave up a really fluke touchdown. I think we ended up winning the game, but he still like sometimes does whatever he wants. We'll we'll work on that, you know, in the future. But for now, this is something that's very very important for you guys to understand. Uh, the power up pass situation that I was talking about. I don't want to take a power up pass off a player right now that I have to buy back because I only have 587k, and um, I've been you know playing around with golden tickets, doing a lot of weird stuff. So I don't really have the the luxury. Of playing around with buying back cards and moving a 98 overall power pass here and there and it's 46,000 training like I said you don't you don't really have to do as much as earlier in the year to get cheap training right you know 300,000 a golden ticket which is what I'm gonna show you guys now if you start to look at the values of the training a 98 is about 70 something K and then you jump all the way to a hundred thousand uh, when you go to the actual 99s right another thing that I wanted to point out as well when a card gets a redux, shout out to the chat for explaining this, right? Because I thought once a card was a limited, it was a limited no matter what. But if a limited card gets a redux, it's, it, it quick sells for training, all right? And not the 250K. So some of you guys were recommending Drew Brees because that card, nobody wants him. You know, and people can't get rid of him fast enough. So you guys were like, yo, check out the Drew Brees. And I'm thinking, yo, he's a limited. It won't work like that. But they weren't talking about the actual limited card. They were talking about the Redux. So for everybody, just to share the knowledge, you know, the Redux is usually quick sell for training. 
just to let you guys know that you know we learn something new all the time everybody you know figures out different things and we try to share it here at G Maya's world to make sure that everybody knows what's going on so that way you're not running around like yo what do I do what do I do it's about letting you understand more or less what's going on so with the price ranges of the 99s it's about 300k and up and it's kind of disgusting that they're that cheap but it works out in our favor because now that they're going to continue to give us power up expansions what are you going to need training so you're going to have to put together these coins now look hear me out right now there is absolutely zero reason to buy any bundles most of you guys are new to the game that are buying bundles so it's like i'm not going to stop you from doing that because you can't be competitive if your team sucks I just would prefer, if you're new, you haven't grinded like a lot of my viewers here, so you need to start grinding and getting some of that free stuff in addition. Just don't, just, you know, don't just throw your wallet at EA Sports. Now look, this is what I'm talking about, right? These Reduxes right here, you can see even on the bottom right of Drew Brees' card, it doesn't show the limited status, so they would quick sell, uh, in fact, for training, because there's no limited on it, it's just a Redux. Uh, just so that everybody understands what's going on with that so i wanted to actually show it to you guys to give you an idea of what's happening because you won't see the limited symbol on it and that was something that i was very concerned about making sure that when i explained it that you guys don't buy the wrong card and then you end up spending more for a card that quick sells for 250. as long as it's a redux you're all set so in this case right now we're going to go ahead and get a golden ticket it just happens to be Derek carr who we raid sold just the other day and we are going to quick sell him and get a hundred thousand training all right so with everything that lines up to this you're gonna i'm starting at a point where i already kept taylor mays powered up you would have to get taylor mays's power up and go through get like his 50 card all that stuff and then once you get to that part where he's a 92 which we you know we started off with the power up and everything you would have to now figure out you know the 63,000 training or are you going to use the power up pass and save the training with the 46,000? that is solely up to you but because the power of pass is such a critical part of building your team, if you have it on a player already that you're comfortable with, I would not take it off. Unless that player's value is worth it for you to sell it, and then it's gonna be more than what it's gonna cost to power up uh, Taylor Maze, I would not do it. I would just avoid it. Because realistically, you don't wanna pay the tax when you gotta sell the card anyway to EA, so I would just leave the power of pass there and just leave it, to, you know, whatever. Uh, what I'm doing right here quickly is I'm just taking the ability off of Kyle Pitts. Now that we're running the West Coast, we don't really need him as much, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, we're just pretty much going to be using the one tight end in Vernon Davis, and then we'll be subbing other people in. I'm also going to be upgrading my fullback and getting somebody way better than um, that other idiot, uh, Kyle Juszczyk, Juszczyk, because he's just been fumbling like a moron over the last couple days. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, on kickoff, he's just like, yo, here goes the ball. And it's like, all right, cool. So he's gone, but we'll talk about that later. That's not really what this is about. Him being a terrible player in Madden is not what it's about. Yeah, Kyle, you're gone soon. Don't worry about it, bro. That's coming very, very soon, guys. Keep a lookout for that. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead now. We have to make sure that Brawler and, and Sprinter are maxed out. That is very, very important. That's the entirety of the team. So that's why I'm showing it to you so you understand what I'm doing as we go throughout because the players that actively play at the skill positions should have sprinter because the acceleration is key so you don't want to give even your defensive linemen they play completely trash with brawler so they the specific guys that play for you should always a hundred percent always make sure that they have sprinter if you're playing them if you don't play them in their backups doesn't matter do whatever you want all right so now we're going to finish upgrading taylor mays all right, we're gonna get him up to that max level, right? Um, he doesn't need any ability per se to play, but we're gonna he's gonna be our new user because he clogs the lane up like nobody's business. He stops the run, he picks the ball off, he does all, dude, he is unbelievable. And I know some of you guys are like, yo, but Isaiah Simmons is 6'4", and um, you know, all that other stuff. What I'm doing right here, I have to upgrade lockdown. So because the power of expansion goes up, you can also increase the scheme chemistry. So I'm gonna take that lockdown times three, sell it back, get a refund, and then I'm gonna go ahead and give him times four so that way we can max out lockdown because his man coverage was one lower than it was supposed to be, and we obviously want that. So the 99 zone is a given because uh, they always make him, you know, obviously a high zone uh, safety, and then the man coverage is pretty low, but nobody plays man coverage. 99 stock, you know, hit power, all that good stuff. He's looking grizzly. He's ready to go out there and just start smashing dudes up. Now, I will be giving you guys some gameplay with him to let you guys see what it's about. Some of you guys were asking about that. So I'll just leave it for you guys to check it out um, and see if you guys enjoy it. 
and then we'll pretty much go from there uh, as far as Taylor Mays goes. But like I said, I, I listen, I've loved this card since they brought him back. You know, as a golden ticket last year, he was unbelievable. I would suggest, it's just a suggestion, that you guys check him out to see what's up. Um, if there's any other issues, obviously you guys can always leave a question, comment, all that good stuff right below. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to join me. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. You have an unbelievable day. One love, y'all.